Big O notation is a mathematical notation that describes the limiting behavior of a function when the argument tends towards a particular value or infinity. In computer science, Big O notation is used to classify algorithms according to, the, to how their runtime or space requirements grow as the input size grows. Big O notation characterizes functions according to their growth rates. So the different functions with the same re uh, growth rate may be represented using the same O notation. The letter O used because the growth rate of a function is also referred to us or to as a order of a function. So O is the order of a function. Okay. Now, a description of a function in terms of big O notation usually only provides an upper bound on the growth rate of a function. So function, if we have a function, we have lower bound and upper bound. Also, we have if we have an algorithm, we have the lower bound and the upper bound, which we have, uh, take an example in the previous video that we have an algorithm that can be executed by one second and another uh, algorithm that do the same result and the same computation in 10 seconds. So the lower bound is one second in this case and the upper bound is 10 seconds in this case. So we are going to uh, and we are interested in understanding and studying this upper bound. We don't care about the lower bound. So in computers engineering, we don't uh, care about the, the best case. We need the worst case to make it, to lower its order, to make it better and better. So the upper bound is donated by O. So associated with big O notation are several related notation using the symbol like O, omega, theta, and, uh, uh, and man, much more to describe other kinds of bound to asymptotic growth rate. Okay, so let's assume this notation gives the tight upper bound of a given function. Generally, it is represented as f of n equal to O of g of n. This means at larger values of n, the upper bound of f of n is g of n. We are not going to uh, make a deep representation in mathematics, but I'm mm, just uh, telling you that the, this big O notation is the highest order in the, uh, in the function, okay? So if you have uh, n to power four plus n to power three plus n to power two, we took n to power four as it's representing that. Don't worry. In the next videos, we are going to make an example about uh, exercises about big O notation, and uh, we will clarify all of these things. I need from you to uh, to uh, take a, a quick look about this uh, lower bound, average time, and upper bound, and these algorithm time. So we start by O to power O to of one and O log N. So this is the green O of one. This is the uh, greenish uh, low uh, log N. This is the yellow O of N. So see guys, we are moving from the linear O of N log N and N to N log N. You see the difference here. And we start by excellent, this is O of one, excellent. Good, log N. Fair is O of N. These are algorithms are uh, good. While N log N is bad. And the horrible things that we are, that may we uh, may uh, encounter is O of N to power squ uh, N square, O of two to power N, and N factorial. Your mission, and you are asked to make the horrible 
notations and horrible algorithms like good and fair and maybe excellent algorithms. So your mission is to make these algorithms to these good algorithms. This is the data structure and algorithm target and goal. So this is your mission. You need to reduce the, the O, the O notation, the order the order of the function of the algorithm to the least thing that you may uh, you try to make it lower n so we start from bigger n and we need to decrease it to lower big o visualization o of g of n is the set of functions with the smaller or the same order of growth as g of n for example if we have a O of n squared, this means it includes O of 1, O of n, O of n log n that we have seen in the chart before. So, analyze the algorithm at a larger n values of n only. What this means, below n0, we don't care about the rate of growth. For example, if we took O of 1, this means it's 100, 1,200, 120. This group of uh, numbers will be considered O of 1 because we don't have any N. The largest thing here is 1,000, which is a constant, and we, it is not multiplied by anything. So it is O of 1. Another example is O of n. These, these numbers, we have 3n plus 100, 100n, 2n minus 1, and 3. The largest order between these numbers is the n. So this is the n, this is 100n, and the largest order is 1. So n to power 1, it is n. It is denoted by O of N. Okay. Now, another example. O of N log N. 5N log N plus 100. This is the first term. The second term, 100N. 2N minus 1 and 3. 3 is a constant. This is the least one. We have N. We have N. But we have here... 5n log n, so for n log n is greater than n, so it took O of n log n and not n, okay? So this is n log n. I will uh, show you uh, at the end of this uh, video the uh, a, a memorization for um, the chart and I will show you why we are doing this and the proof of these calculations. O of n square. So, if we have numbers and we need to get the complexity of them and the highest degree of them, 3n plus 100, we till now we have n. 100n, we have n. 2n minus 1, we have n. So, we, uh, we neglect these and we keep on the greatest order, as I told you n square minus 2n so we have now n square so it is n square and now n square here alone so it is n square the greatest one among these is n square so we took it as its big o notation okay i need from you to register uh, down and uh, to write down on your copybook that O of n is smaller than log n is smaller than O of n is smaller than n log n smaller than n square smaller than 2 to the power n and smaller than n factorial. So please write down 1 O of n or O of 1 less than log n less than n less than n log n less than 
n square and less than 2 to power n and less than n factorial. Okay? This is the target of big notation, big O notation. And this is the, uh, that what I need from you to understand and to uh, memorize well. Because all of our complexity works will be